here's another these are the things we keep running into this time of year we don't continue to run into them but this is an issue we run into often we look back here look at this spot in this yard all right looks looks pretty drastic from afar but let's let's get in closer and take a look all right as we get in here up close here is what we're looking at pete denny did a fantastic job talking about drought stress pete denny gci turf you should look him up talking about drought stress in the yard and what starts to happen is in an effort to save the crown of the plant the water that is being sent to the leaf tissue is no longer sent to the leaf tissue and is used to keep that crown of the plant alive so what happens is you get this needling effect and an eventual browning of the grass grass blades to continue to send that moisture to the crown of the plant so if you just look out across that it's needled it almost has a gray brownish hue to it and that is a sign it's not enough moisture and even if you look out through here you can kind of see that that grain continue just out through there where it just doesn't quite have uh, enough moisture and those those grass blades begin to needle up and tighten up and then you start to get the hot spots to form in through your driest areas that's what you see in through here this is a big giant hot spot right here in areas where you're obviously getting better than normal irrigation coverage you have over here slight needling taking place but not just a ton of it so what do you do this yard has been treated with the fungicide it did have brown patch in it and then it got really hot and obviously it just dried out so we're going to up this irrigation big time it was running four days a week at 20 minutes which is going to be about 80 minutes of water a week which would equate to right at a half inch but we haven't had rain in two weeks so we're going to bump that up to an inch and a half and that's going to come in the form of two three hours and 45 minutes this is going to give us right at an inch and a half of water using a water audit where we just test and collect how much water the irrigation system is putting out then we're going to have this issue corrected now it's gonna take a minute for this to grow back out because that's what's gonna to have to happen. It's gonna to have to grow back out from the crown of the plant. So it's not gonna be instantly better, but in a week's time frame, even, we should see some pretty significant improvement. How do you tell the difference between trout stress and disease? And the answer is pretty simple. There are three things typically that I look for. Number one is going to be lesions on the leaf blade. I'll show you lesions on the leaf blade. Number two is going to be a graying and needling effect of the actual turf grass itself. Then number three, the, the final thing to take into consideration is what's the time of year? What are the conditions? What are the conditions? Is it hot? Is it dry? What is it? So let me show you lesions. Let me show you needling. And I think we all know the time of year. It's late July, it's uh, 95 degrees outside. It's hot. When I'm talking All about right. lesions. This is what I'm talking about. This particular grass blade right here. Do you see those spots forming? Um, that was at one time, it probably was active rhizoc, which is brown patch. It may have been the start of gray leaf spot. Um, but you can see where it really did a number on that grass blade and what happens is it happens over and over and over and over and over on each each one of these grass blades and you begin to see it so that is a lesion that is disease this is on old growth if you see the new growth here it's not on it that means the fungicide that was applied was effective all right, now let's look at needling. What we have here is needling. So if we look at these grass blades, I mean, they just shriveled up and reduced into nothing. You know, you look here, there's next to nothing there where it's just really, really, really started to dry up. And if you look in here, let me try and get one where I'm not affecting the sun. You can almost, almost kind of see that color where the crown of the plant is no longer sending water to that leaf tissue 
that is just not as green or as as healthy as as this next to it so on the right we have needling on the left we have adequate moisture and uh and so really that's that's what you're looking for you know this is time of year lack of water this is perfectly healthy plenty of water and uh, if you look down here on the old growth that was disease at one point so you got lesions you got healthy and you've got needling so you've got drought stress healthy grass disease and what happens as it starts to dry you get these hot spots that form that is a hot spot where the grass is just completely cooked out